Evan, we're hearing from the wife of a man killed in Friday's storms in James City County. We have been covering this sad story all weekend. Family and friends gathered for a candlelight vigil tonight in honor of Sean Walker. As we've reported, Walker was killed when a tree fell on a truck he was in. Last night, 10 on your side's Asia Tolliver spoke to the victim's father and his brothers at their home. And tonight, more family decided to talk about the tragedy. And Asia, what was the atmosphere like at that vigil tonight? Well, Brandy, it was very peaceful and the family was surprised. So many people came out to support Walker. Walker's father tells me he saw the vigil as a parade for his son and that he's sure he was looking down, all, down on all of them tonight with a smile. Dozens of people gathered near the water at Messick Point in Pocosin in honor of Sean Walker. It was one of Walker's favorite places to kick back and fish, and that's how the family says they want to remember him, happy and at peace. His mother, Carol, says she was overjoyed to see how many people he touched in his life. I knew he was loved, but I didn't know he was loved this much. Walker's bike shined under the candlelight as they exchanged stories about him. There were tears, but laughter too as they thought back on memories. He left here knowing I loved him, and that's peace in my heart. Walker's wife says from the moment she got the call, she refused to believe it. No, it wasn't real. It's so not real. Kelly Walker says her husband was a hardworking father with a big heart. He was the most forgiving. He was the most compassionate and passionate man I've ever known. He was the best dad ever. I wish I could just tell him I love him one more time. And while the family still has so many questions, they say they know he was chosen for a reason. His stepdad tells me officials believe he died almost instantly with no pain. Walker's mother says with family and friends like this, she will find the strength to get through each day. And as for her message to him, it was simple. I love you so much. <laughs> The family is now planning for the funeral this week. As we reported last night, they are asking for help since Sean Walker was the main provider for them. If you want to help, you can find a link to their GoFundMe page on wavy.com. In the newsroom, Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.